At least Ivy was dumb enough to keep proof that Ethan was Sam's son at Pilar's house and not in a safety deposit box. Teresa found the proof and scanned it into her laptop, where, from which, we sent it to the tabloids. Mother, I mean, that was genius. Teresa never could explain why she didn't out Ethan as a Bennett when the proof came from her computer. Everyone blamed Teresa for ruining Ethan's life, including Ethan. And Julian divorced Ivy, allowing me to marry my pookie and get my hands on all that delicious crane money. I mean, who knew that J.T. Cornell kept digging into Ethan and Teresa's lives, eventually expanding his excavation to where he had dirt on half of Harmony? Which I helped him blackmail. It was J.T. who found out that Ethan, not Julian, was little Ethan's father. Teresa finally got the truth out of him in Rome, but she was afraid to tell Ethan after she'd lost custody of Jane. Once we found out, we used Teresa's fear of losing Ethan against her so she'd keep on keeping quiet. It wasn't until she got uppity about telling Ethan the truth that we went back to J.T.'s handy-dandy USB stick and found dirt on Pilar. Who would have thought that Pilar, the saint of harmony, killed a man and was responsible for his children being murdered in front of their mother? That fact gave us absolute power over Pilar and Teresa. Threatening to unleash Juanita Vasquez on those low-life Lopez Fitzgeralds kept Teresa's yap shut about little Ethan being Ethan's son. Teresa couldn't even tell Ethan that their son could donate part of his liver to save your son with Ethan. I mean, I loved how Teresa made herself look mean and selfish to Ethan while we were looking for a donor. I was so proud of how you handled that whole thing, honey. And it worked. Teresa was too selfless to let an innocent child die, so she tarnished herself in Ethan's eyes to secretly save Jonathan. Going to Mexico to reason with Juanita afterwards was vintage Teresa. Only that doe-eyed little dunce would think she could make peace with the rabid bitch who ran the Mexican mob. The rest, as they say, is history. Not only are we forcing Teresa to stay disguised as Gertrude so Ethan will recommit to you, Juanita is headed to Harmony to kill Pilar's entire family, including in-laws and close friends. You'll email me the funeral notices, won't you, Mother? With pleasure. Oh, my. What now? Uh, Gwen and Rebecca are in handcuffs and not for fun. Looks like Teresa and Ethan are back together. What did we miss? A lot. Mount Harmony erupted and the lava's headed right towards town. How can that be? I mean, aside from the red glow coming from Mount Harmony and the earthquakes, I mean, everything was quiet. Well, that strange glow is lava headed right towards us. Hurry, Father, baptize Tabitha before we all die! Did we miss something? Oh, people, you don't even know. Right now, uh, honey, use your magic for daddy. Make it so that mommy can get baptized. <sighs> Tabitha Lennox, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. confused. Yeah, totally. Okay, for all of you who were in the basement, listen up. Tabitha was a witch. Huh? Yeah. But, uh, she sacrificed her powers to save all of you from Vincent and Vicky's poison mushroom sauce. Tabitha and Julian's daughter and Dora is also a witch, but a good witch. My niece? My half-sister? Okay. To interrupt. <laughs> Kay is a witch too. What? So much for interrupting. Well, Mom, Mom had powers, remember? And um, Charity had powers, and so did her mother Faith. And I, I have powers too. All the Standish women do, and Jessica has them, but she just never uses them. Sorry. So uh, does Maria have powers too? Probably. Yeah. Anywho, uh, now you all know the basics, so we'll do a little Q&A when all this comes down. 
Mother of Pearl. I think the volcano has stopped erupting. Timmy was right. Bab Tarzan Tabitha saved our lives. this Asian Elvis impersonator. Well, then who divorced me? Who divorced you? I... Oh, I knew I forgot something. What? How could you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, wait a minute here. If Gwen was married, and she never got a divorce... Then her marriage to you is... Null and void. Exactly. I don't even need an annulment. We can get married right now. You know, my dress is... Oh, that's... That's not a problem. Oh, my yeah. God. Thank you. <laughs> it's finally harmony in harmony. Yes, all's quiet on every front. <laughs> And I do mean every front. Oh, Julian, about that. Julian, everybody knows your member is messed up after Vicky chopped it off mm. and Eve reattached it backwards when she was drunk. Yeah, and you know, if you want me to, I can fix it. Oh my God, you can. Oh. I mean, that would be a very lovely thing to do, Kate. Even I would be most grateful. Give me your hand. Oh. I do believe my member is up in good standing again. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Kate. You're welcome. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ethan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>